The minions are back and they're yellower than ever. Let's take a look at the new trailer, Minions, The Rise of Skywalker. I mean, The Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I mean, The Rise of Cobra. I mean, The Rise of the Guardians. I mean, The Rise of an Empire. I mean, The Rise of the Silver Surfer. I mean, The Rise of the Machines. I mean, The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, that was the one. I was today years old when I realized that Illumination contained within it the word Minion. You won't be hearing music in this trailer review because YouTube's great and they'll flag me for it, but take my word when I say Eminem's used a lot. Hey, I'm a middle-aged white guy, so obviously I like Eminem, but did I have to hear Lose Yourself 30 times in this preview? It's also very bizarre hearing a song that was so personal, so tailored for a specific film that was R-rated, to now be heard in a children's movie. This movie's obviously a prequel with a young Gru. It takes place in the 70s. We can see this because of the Jaws poster in the movie theater. So we can narrow it down to 1975 when Jaws was released. Just one of the many fun facts I bring to you on this channel. Also, did you know that in the film Jaws, there's a shark? Subscribe for movie trivia. The jokes in this trailer are hit and miss for me, which is troubling. You want to put your best Groot forward. And right now, I'm just not feeling this. The biggest reoccurring gag is that Gru is called Mini Boss. It's not, it's not, it's not funny. There appears to be a variety of villains this time around. I would assume all of them will have very one-dimensional shtick. Fighting Nun, Disco Lady, Strong Dude, etc. In the past Despicable Me slash Minions films, there's been some great villains, with Balthazar Bratt and El Macho being my favorites from Despicable Me 2 and 3. So I'm definitely not against the idea of a bunch of zany villains showing up. It could work. Halfway through this preview, the film takes a hard turn towards Kung Fu Panda territory. The Minions are now in Chinatown learning martial arts. Then we see them globe trot around for a little bit before they end up in a final duel with some very colorful creatures. The second half of the trailer is very light on the Gru. Uh, we see he gets kidnapped. I'm guessing this is going to take place around the halfway mark, and then he'll just be MIA for a decent chunk of the film before he comes back at the end, rallies the minions back, becomes the boss we know he can be. I'm not looking for something deep and complex here with a minions movie. I like the Despicable Me series, the third being the weakest entry and Minions not being the greatest, but still watchable. These entertain from a family viewpoint. I'm not excited for this though, it just doesn't do much to entice me to watch. That doesn't mean it'll be bad, just this impression isn't leaving me with much. If you wonder why it feels like an eternity since this film was announced, well that's because it's been an eternity. This was supposed to come out in 2020, but then got pushed back to 2021, and here we are. 2022 at the supposed release date. So if you've been patiently waiting for this film, not really caring when it comes out, cool. Maybe you wait an extra four months because it will be on Peacock after hitting theaters just four months later. You can catch it there. You can catch it right there on the cock, which, which is of course short for Peacock, which is a great name for a streaming service. Check it out on P. I'll see it with the family. We like those little yellow guys, but I'm not expecting much out of this. Hopefully, they surprise me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to sub. I mean, I threw so much trivia at you. So much knowledge went your way. From the Jaws thing to the other Jaws thing. Uh, what more do you want? Like the video if you had a good time. Hit the notification bell so these show up in your feed. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Did you know Steve Carell, who voices Gru, was also the boss Michael Scott in The Office? <laughs> Trivia. Did you also know I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, where I look for fan support from people like yourselves. Just a dollar goes a long way to saying, hey, I love what you're doing, Adam. I like your one-man operation. Keep it classy. You can also become a member right here on YouTube via that join button. It works the same way. You pledge a few bucks a month, tip the hat, and I, in return, make you great content.